हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो फॉर ऑल माय डियर सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड स्पेशली फॉर द स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स हु आर स्टडिंग इन क्लास एट नाइन्थ टेंथ एंड ऑल्सो फॉर दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर वेरियस कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स द टॉपिक ऑफ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल्स एंड क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस सो यू मस्ट हैव स्टडीड सो मेनी ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स एट स्कूल लेवल राइट बट I am going to move away from the traditional and tell you some of the short tricks which you can use for cracking these questions of pair of linear equations in two variables and quadratic equations within very very less time. This will help you in cracking the multiple choice questions where the steps don't matter, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, strategies to crack multiple choice questions is a must for competitive exams as well. So watch the entire video. and uh, i'll be taking up so many questions and if you have not subscribed the channel till now uh, do click the subscribe button and click the bell shaped icon also so that you keep on getting all the notifications of the future uploads so let's get started with the first question it relates to the pair of linear equations in two variables so how many different methods you know for solving pair of linear equations in two variables elimination by substitution elimination by equating coefficients the graphical method right that's these are the three methods which students are doing right at class 10th level one method which was eliminated was the cross multiplication method and it doesn't exist in the cbsc syllabus as of now but do you know that method can be used as a short trick so i'll demonstrate how Let me take the first question where I am trying to solve x plus y equal to three and two x plus five y equal to thirteen. So I want to find the value of x first. Now for finding the value of x, I will start with the coefficient of y here, which is one. Okay, and then I cross multiply like this. So one times thirteen. So I'll write all the steps for the first question. One times thirteen. And minus, you have to put the minus by default, and then cross multiply like this: three times five, three times five, and then in the denominator, go the other way round: one times two, and minus one times five, and that's it. So you just have to do this small calculation to get to the value of x. So this is thirteen minus fifteen upon Two minus five, which is minus two upon minus three, that is two upon three. So I got the value of x without using any particular method, and that too in minimum amount of time and with minimum effort. Now what do we do with x? You can put it anywhere. I mean in the first equation or the second equation to find the value of y. So x plus y is three. So x is two third. So two third plus y. Is three. That means y is three minus two by three, which is nine minus two seven seven by three. And here we get the solution of the first pair of linear equations. Now similarly, you can apply this and practice this method. So let me take one more question, uh, just to solve one more, uh, so that I can feel more comfortable with the method. Let's take three x plus two y equals minus one as the first equation. And for the second equation, we have five x plus six y equals five, right? So you can do along with me now uh, if you have understood the method. X will be start with the coefficient here two times five, that is ten minus in the denominator go the other way round two times five ten again minus now the other way round here minus one times six is minus six. And three times six is eighteen. So the value of x will be ten plus six sixteen, and then ten minus eighteen minus eight, and that gives you minus two as the value of x. So you are not going to take more than seven to eight seconds to get to the value of x. Very important in cracking the multiple choice questions, right? And then you can put the value of x in any one of the equations which you feel comfortable. Like I take the first one. 3x so 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 plus 2y equals 
minus 1. So 2y equals 6 minus 1, 5 and that gives the value of y as 5 upon 2. Now you must be wondering that I am taking very simple equations here and then using the method. That is to illustrate the short trick. You know I call it a short trick because the method is really short although it uses the cross multiplication method but it really produces very good results in minimum amount of time. Now let's complicate the problem for us and take a question where the variable is in the denominator like you have 3 upon 2x x is in the denominator plus 2 upon 3y y is in the denominator here equal to 5 this is the first equation and 5 upon x minus 3 upon y equal to 1 this is the second equation now this is the pair of linear equations not exactly linear but yes with little modification we can convert it to linear form but we don't need to do anything you know we have, we can find the values of x and y which satisfies this pair of linear equations easily with cross multiplication method that is the short trick okay so what is the coefficient uh, i mean 2 by 3 is the coefficient right but y is in the denominator likewise here x is in the denominator so instead of x now i am finding 1 upon x now i hope you understand this because x is in the denominator i'll do the same thing again 2 by 3 is the coefficient which I will multiply by 1 minus the other way round the 5 will be multiplied by minus 3 see the coefficient is minus 3 and in the denominator from here to here 2 by 3 times 5 see I am writing all the steps here minus 3 by 2 is the coefficient times minus 3 3 by 2 times minus 3 now let's see whether we can get the correct answer here so this is 2 by 3 minus minus plus 15 upon 10 by 3 minus minus plus and then 9 by 2. So what do we get in the numerator here? 2 plus 45 that is 47 upon 3 and in the denominator 3 and 2 the LCM is 6. So 20 plus 27 is 47 again. So what do we get here? 47 upon 3 times 6 upon 47 which gives me exactly 6 upon 3 that is 2. See the value of 1 by x is obtained now. Now if I get the value of 1 by x as 2 that means the value of x is the reciprocal that is 1 by 2. Now once I get the value of x you know what to do right? You can put the value of x in one of these and get the value of y. So I will use the second equation now. 5 upon x, x is 1 by 2, right? Minus 3 upon y equal to 1. So 3 upon y goes to the right hand side. 5 upon half is 5 into 2, 10. And the 1 comes here. So 9 equal to 3 upon y. 9y equal to 3. That means y is 3 by 9, that is 1 by so see we have the value of y and the value of x 1 by 2 and 1 by 3. See no changing into linear form, no application of substitution method or the elimination method still we get to the correct answer for all the linear equations which are reducible right. Great. So there are questions where there are literals as the coefficients like a and b you must have seen questions like that. So let me give you a DIY question, do it yourself question and you need to post in the comments whether you got the correct answer using the approach which I am telling you, okay, not the traditional approach. So the question for you is bx plus ay equals, now it is important that you don't feel scared, you know, you need to get on with the question. The coefficients are b and a here, never mind, you will still get the correct answer. And on the right hand side we have a b times a plus b. In the second equation we have the same thing with the square. So b square x plus a square y equals twice of a square b square. Now this is the pair of equations which you have to solve using the short trick approach which I just told you. Now this is about linear equations in two variables. Now let's get on with the quadratic equations. 
Suppose you have a quadratic like 5x squared plus 13x plus 8 equal to 0. Now the middle term splitting, right? That's what the students are taught at school level and that's where the students fumble. Why? Because they are not able to split the middle term. And you need to understand how middle term splitting works. If you understand the logic behind something, no, the problem is not going to difficult, uh, be difficult for you. So this is an easy equation. Why? Because the coefficients are not quite big. In the next question which I am going to take up, I will take up big coefficients also. And I will show you how middle term splitting is so easy. And then you can crack the question, find the roots of the equation without uh, much consumption of time. Okay. So let's see this first. So at school level, what the teachers are going to tell you that you have to find two numbers A and D which add up to this middle number 13 and whose product is 5 times 8. Here, these two, right? Multiplication of these two, 5 times 8. See, the basic mistake is to multiply 5 and 8 and get a big number. You should not multiply 5 and 8. Rather think 5 and 8 themselves add up to 13. So the middle term split factors are in the question itself in this case, right? So 5 and 8. Had the, uh, the sum of 5 and 8 been something else, you, you need a 13, but it is not 13, then you need to do something else. So we will do that in the next question, okay? So for this question, the middle term split factors are 5 and 8. That is plus 5 and plus 8. So what is this step? This is S, S for split. So I did the split. Now I need to do the step change. C, C for change. Change means what? The two signs. Here we have plus 5 and plus 8. So I will convert that to minus 5 and minus 8. And then the next step is D. D for divide. Divide means divide by this, this number. The coefficient of x squared. So minus 5 upon 5 and minus 8 upon 5. And then simplify. S, C, D and then simplify. So simplify is if there is a common factor just remove it. So this is minus 1 and this remains as minus 8 upon 5 which gives us the roots of this quadratic equation. So you can see the middle term splitting was quite easy here and that is why we could crack the question quite easily. But S, C, D split change and divide method works for finding the roots of a quadratic equation. You may, you may call it a short trick, right? Okay, let's see another one. Now I'm going to complicate the problem. So 21x square, look at the coefficients now, 21x square plus 53x and then minus we have 88 equal to 0. Now how do you split the middle term? It you know, 90% of the students are going to get scared, you know, when they see this equation because middle term splitting is really difficult here. So let's simplify things and understand how we can split the middle term easily first. So I need a 53 as the sum. So I need two numbers whose sum is 53, right? And the product is the product of these two, okay? 21 and 21 and 88. Okay, now 21 and 88, if I add them, I'm not going to get 53 in any case. Okay, somehow I need to split these and convert them into simpler factors. What are the factors of 21? 3 into 7, right? And what are the factors of 88? It is 8 into 11. If needed, I will break down 8 also. But let me check if these four factors can work for me. So, uh, 53. So let's regroup them. 3 and 8, 24. 7 and 11, 77. How about getting a 53 from 24 and 77? You will be surprised. 77 minus 24 is actually 53. Correct? And so I get my middle term split factors. It is not at all tough. Just a little bit of understanding of the factors how to break these numbers into their simpler factors, regroup them into two numbers whose sum is the middle term here. Okay. So, let's decide on the sign now. The product is negative, the sum is positive. So, the bigger one will be positive 
and the smaller one will be negative. Only then they will give a sum of uh, which is positive plus 53 and the product which is negative. Got it? Now, let's follow this, these steps now. Split is already done. Change minus 77 and plus 24 because you were to change the sign of the two factors which you obtained and then divide. Divide is minus 77 by 21, this number and then 24 upon 21 and finally simplify. So what are the common factors here? I think it is 7. So minus 11 upon 3 that forms the first root of the quadratic equation and 24 upon 21 I think divisible by 3 so 8 upon 7 and there we go the two roots of this quadratic equation are obtained. Isn't that amazing? Good things to learn and uh, you know save time in the exams. You got to be smart when you are attempting multiple choice questions in the exams and uh, you know in order to uh, ensure that 20 questions multiple choice questions are solved in 30 to 40 minutes you need to uh, do it through these methods. Let's see whether we can solve a question involving square roots using this method. 3 root 2 x square minus 5x minus root 2 equal to 0. So again we have to split uh, then change and then divide. So let's split first. We need two numbers a and b whose sum is minus 5 the center here and the product is 3 root 2 times minus root 2. 3 root 2 times minus root 2. Right? How much is this? This is actually uh, very easy. The root 2 times root 2 is 2. 2 3 is 6. So this is minus 6 and getting a minus 5 with a product of minus 6 is very easy. I can just write what? Minus 6 and plus 1. So middle term splitting is very easy when there are square roots in the question. And if middle term splitting is easy, then it will take even lesser time to solve this question. So minus 6 and plus 1. Now change the sign 6 and minus 1. Now divide by 3 root 2. So 6 upon 3 root 2 and minus 1 upon 3 root 2. So what do you do with these? I think we can simplify them further. 3 cancels 6 2 times. So this is 2 upon root 2. And you can rationalize this by root 2 and get minus root 2 upon 6. So this is one of the answers. And on the other hand, 2 upon root 2 is actually, uh, if you write 2 as root 2 into root 2, 1 root 2 will get cancelled and other root 2 will have the, uh, that will be the final solution. So here we have the roots of this given quadratic equation. See, the question looks scary because there were square roots in the question, but it was so simple because the middle term splitting was very easy. So SCDS method works for us. So I'll give you a DIY question now. Uh, using the approach which I told you, the SCD method, you have to do this question and let me know in the comments below whether you got the correct answer or not. Okay. A square x square. So the coefficient is a square now minus 3abx okay and plus 2b square equal to 0. I tell you this question uh, again is looking little scary but go for it. I have, this will not take more than 20 seconds getting solved. You just need to have courage to do it and apply the method s split d uh, c change and then d divide and this, then simplify and get the answer. So post your answers here in the comment box and let me know how much time you took to solve this question and the one which I gave you for linear equations in two variables. Friends, all these methods are really important for the placement exams and for class 10th uh, board exams to crack the multiple choice questions where you don't have to show the steps. So go for it and practice the method do share the video with all your friends uh, and tell them these amazing methods through which they can also excel in uh, these type of questions. Do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting the notifications of all the future videos. All the best for your practice.